everyone. This is Dale Howard, the Director of Education for Progility. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our Progility On Demand webinar series on tips and tricks for using Microsoft Project more effectively. Our set of tips and tricks in this On Demand webinar will show you how to create a custom duration variance view. In Microsoft Project, you can analyze up to five types of variants. These variance types are duration variance, start variance, finish variance, work variance, and cost variance. To analyze start and finish variance, you can apply the tracking Gantt view. You can also apply the variance table and you'll see the columns start variance and finish variance. To analyze work variance you can apply the work table and you'll see the column called variance. To analyze cost variance apply the cost table and again you can see the column called variance. However, there is no table or view that allows you to analyze duration variance. Therefore, we need to create a new custom view and table to allow us to analyze duration variance. In this webinar, I will create the custom duration variance view by completing the following steps. First, I'll create a custom duration variance table that includes the columns we need to see. Then I'll create a custom duration variance is greater than zero days filter to show only the tasks we want to see. Finally, I'll create the custom duration variance view with the following features. The view will include the tracking Gantt screen on the right, and the view will apply the filter as a highlight filter. To create the custom table, complete the following steps. Click the View tab to display the View ribbon. Then click the Tables Pick List button and select the More Tables item. In the More Tables dialog, scroll down and select the Work table and then click the Copy button to make a copy of this table. We're copying the work table because the work columns are very closely related to the duration columns we need in our custom table. In the Name field, enter a name for this table, such as underscore duration, which will put it up at the top of the list because of the underscore character. Do select the Show in Menu checkbox. Then, for each of the work-related columns that are displayed in this table, swap them with their duration-related counterpart. Swap work for duration. Swap baseline work with baseline duration. Swap work variance with duration variance. Swap actual work with actual duration. Swap remaining work with remaining duration. And then finally, swap percent work complete with its duration related counterpart percent complete. Then in the title column, Use the backspace key on your computer keyboard to delete the titles. Do not use the delete key because that'll delete the entire row and you don't want to do that. So I'll select baseline, hit backspace, variance, hit backspace, actual, remaining, and percent work complete. When you've removed those titles, Go ahead and click the OK button and then click the Apply button to display your new table. Drag the split bar all the way over to the right so that you can see all of the columns in the new custom table. 
Click the Duration Variance column header to select that column. Then click and hold the column header and drag it over just to the right of the task name column. That's actually the most important column in this table, so that's the one we'll need to see first. Widen any columns as needed. And that finishes the table creation process. After creating the new custom table, you're ready to create the custom filter. To create the filter, click the Filter Pick List button and select the New Filter item on the menu to take you directly to the Filter Definition dialog. In the Name field, enter a name for this custom filter, such as Underscore, Duration, Variance, is greater than zero days. Leave the Show in Menu item selected and then create the filter criteria as follows. In the field name column, click the Pick List and select the Duration Variance field. In the Test column, select the Is Greater Than test and in the Values column, enter 0D or just 0. That will work as well. Then select the checkbox called Show Related Summary Rows so you can see the summary tasks for every task whose duration variance is greater than 0. Finally, click the Apply button to test your new filter. If you look in the Duration Variance column in My Project, you can clearly see that every task with a duration variance greater than zero is displayed by the custom filter. After creating and testing both the new custom table and filter, I recommend that you reset the Gantt chart view to its default settings. To do this, press the F3 function key to remove the filter. Then click the table's pick list and select the entry table. Finally, drag the split bar back to the right edge of the duration column. Click the task tab to display the task ribbon. Then click the Gantt chart pick list button and select more views. In the more views dialog, click the tracking Gantt view to select it and copy it. What this is doing is copying the tracking Gantt screen on the right side of our custom view. Now in this new custom view we need to give it a name so we're going to call this underscore duration variance. That's its purpose. We need to select the table and that's our new custom underscore duration table. We'll leave no group selected. The filter will need to select our new underscore duration variance filter. And we also want to apply the filter as a highlight filter. Click OK when finished. And then to test the new custom view, click the Apply button. In our new custom view, every task that has a duration variance value greater than zero days will be highlighted by the yellow cell background color. Has this webinar generated interest in our services and solutions? If so, please contact Sarah Howard using the contact information shown on this slide. Also, don't forget to visit our website and our blog page as well. Thanks for watching our on-demand webinar today.